Hi guys, welcome back to the seventh episode of Girl Next Door. I hope you've all had a great week. Sorry that I didn't upload last week. Be listening back to it, I wasn't a hundred percent happy with posting it because I just thought I want this podcast to be a positive and motivational space and the episode that I was gonna put out was wasn't that. It was kind of just a bit meh and I just wasn't very proud of it. So here we are, we're a new week, we've recorded well I'm recording a new one today and this is gonna go out on Thursday. Brilliant. <laughs> So like every week, I'm just gonna do a quick roundup and it's actually been two weeks since I last spoke to you. So last week, I guess the flop was me not being able to upload my podcast in the sense that all the editing was lost, which was not great. I was rather pissed off, but I've had a really lovely week and and I went to, where did I go? I went to Chester with a big group of friends and it was just so fun. It was such a humble weekend. Well, I say humble weekend. We did get rather drunk on the Friday night, on St. Patrick's Day, but it was a really, really nice time. We went to little shops, we had meals out, and I just wanted to touch on that. So past me would have really struggled with not being able to go to the gym or not being able to exercise and eating out for every meal. So last weekend, it was Friday to Sunday, and we had all of our meals basically out or if we had the inn it was like oven pizzas and it was cheese and bread and you know just we were all sharing lots of lovely great food none of it's bad but i would have been so just not making memories i'd have been focusing on the food and focusing on the calories and this weekend i really didn't even cross my mind if i'm being honest i was in the moment i was living for the memories counting the memories and not the calories and I loved it. It was great. I felt so free, surrounded by people I love. It was just good vibes and yeah, that really was the highlight. It's actually been actually quite a big highlight, I'd say, in the last month, that weekend. It was just amazing. We went to the sea and I know it was not exactly the the hottest of weather. Uh, For the listeners that aren't in England, hello. (laughs) It's freezing in England at the moment. It's raining It was snowing the other week and of course as Brits, me and my friends, we did go in the sea. Now I only paddled in the sea. I mean I had my swim costume on so I was like, it was like fully like up to my waist. But my friend Emily, she just, she's crazy. She literally was swimming full on like neck in just going for a swim and that's crazy because it was freezing. My legs were blue it was that bad but it was really fun it was so fun and i encourage anyone to another thing that i would have been really scared about is getting into a bikini in winter because you know the summer body isn't there or you know this ideal perfect body that you know is unrealistic i have the perfect body that is perfect for my lifestyle and you know you might be a bit worried about getting out months before summer because you know you've Maybe it's winter, you know, you're pale, you know, maybe not as toned as you want to be. But like, I literally said, fuck it. And I, I would have been really scared to do that this time last year. Whereas last weekend, it was just about really enjoying just getting in the sea, being with friends, having that fun memory. And if it was old me standing on the side watching, you're not creating those memories. And I'm just so proud of myself for actually getting involved and kind of looking back at how far I've come in the sense that I just kind of went straight in, not even a care in the world, just making those core cool memories with my friends. So that was the win of the week, I guess. So last week or a couple weekends ago, when I actually planned to do this podcast, I put a poll on my Instagram story saying, if there's ever been anything that you want to do that you haven't done in fear of judgment from others, or you you haven't done something because you're scared of what others might think of you. And 81% of you said yes. Now that's quite a lot of people. Now I used to care such a lot about what people thought of me. I was part of that 81% that didn't do something because I thought other people might judge me for it. So being worried about what others might think and and letting it get to you and stop you from doing what you genuinely want to do. It's easy to blame others. It's easy to say, oh no, but they're going to make fun of me. I don't want anyone else to think that I'm doing something weird. I'm scared of what others might think. But that's not them holding you back. 
that's you holding yourself back. As much as we like to blame other people for our problems, the the issue lies with you and your ability to stand out. Now that sounds really harsh and I'm going to come back to that, I'm going to circle back to it in just a moment, but not caring about what other people think is so important for living the life that you truly want to live, okay? If you stop giving a fuck about what anyone thinks of you, or anything in particular, your life, you will be unstoppable. Now that's not me saying completely let go of all social etiquette and be reckless in what you do because you should stop caring what other people think. That's not me. That's not what I'm saying. It's not about being indifferent. It's about being comfortable with being different. It's feeling okay with standing out in a crowd. It's feeling okay doing what you authentically want to do and not worry about what other people think because you are happy doing what you do. And once you learn to let go of people's opinions of you, you level up so much you become unstoppable if you stop caring what other people think and you just focus on you and how you feel how many things could you be doing what could you have done what could you be doing right now the moments where we don't give a fuck are the moments that define our lives a random switch in careers the spontaneous choice to drop out of uni to join a new club to start that new business to dump that boyfriend because he's not serving you those moments where we say fuck it and just do something because we want to do it or we've put up for something we want something different we're doing it for ourselves we're taking it back we're taking back our power and putting it back into ourselves and it's so liberating taking back that life you want to live and being head on with the challenges but then taking action on them is incredible now this book that i'm reading you guys know i've mentioned it so many times on the podcast before the subtle art of not giving a fuck it's absolutely amazing highly recommend if you're enjoying this podcast so far to go read the book it is very good but basically in the book something key that stood out to me was something so obvious now basically he said in the book that one day you're gonna die and we all know that we don't like to be reminded of it but it's true and not be morbid or anything but it's hopefully a long happy life but to ensure that we've got to make sure that things we do for ourselves now basically he said about we have a limited amount of i'm gonna call them ducks because i don't want to carry on saying fucks we've got a limited amount of ducks to live and i feel that's a bit cringy do i keep saying that i'm really not sure (laughs) basically you know what i'm trying to say we have a limited amount and if we always care about what we're doing so much we're gonna run out and it's not gonna be much of a life of that you want to live your life will be a bit toned down it won't be the full authentic life that you want to live because you're so caught up caring too much about how you come across kind of a word for these people might be a bit uptight well i don't know just if you care so much about what others think you're gonna live your life and it's not going to be for you if you're if you're letting others or what others think of you control you are you living your life so it's really important to pick and choose what matters whether you actually do care about the person opposite you who's a stranger walking down the street do you care about what he thinks or what they think no because is it that important no do you care about how someone how you come across on a job interview to the person as opposite you yes because you probably want the job but at the end of the day even what they think what they think doesn't really matter so to a certain extent as long as you're authentically you and you're true to yourself then who cares what they think obviously to an extent i'm not saying you know disregard any social etiquette or anything like that but being yourself you attract the people that you authentically want in your life by just by being yourself that's why i'm throwing things back to the school days but that's why in school you see a lot of kids kind of acting different or they're trying to fit in because they're not being them true selves they're they're young they're impressionable they want to be liked so they change who they are and then they end up in the wrong crowd or they end up in a friendship group maybe doesn't support them or doesn't do the things that they like it's because they've changed themselves because they believe that's what they have to do to fit in because when you act a certain way you are attracting the same 
vibe, the same like-minded people. So not caring about what strangers might think might be easy for you. Might not be, but it might. But maybe it's what your friends might think or the people or your family or the people close to you, what they might think. You think that they will find it weird, so you're not going to do that. Because I know personally, when I wanted to start my podcast or had all these, you know, voices in my head saying, no, your friends will think that's weird because you've never mentioned it before or, you know, that's going to be weird because they don't do that. And that's just me and my insecurities and my thoughts kind of blaming someone else because they never said that. They've never said that's weird or people who do that's weird. But because it's almost like I wanted to have an excuse of why I was not doing it. Like I said, as humans, we love to blame someone else. And when I took full responsibility for, and I analysed what I was thinking, I was like, actually, they've never given me a reason to think that. So why don't I just do it? Because I'm holding myself back in that situation. Now, don't get me wrong. If you have friends from high school or, or you've been friends with someone for a long, long time and you think, oh no, because I have changed and this would be so out of the blue. The person that I've been friends with all my life I'm a completely different person but we've now we're still friends because we've got history together and we've got all those memories but I'm a different person now. Now when history is keeping a friendship alive it's very difficult because there you've got a connection based on the younger version of you and now you're the highest your your higher self and you might be a bit different now so starting this new thing might be a big surprise or they might not like it or they might not think that's you know whatever i don't know but it's putting that to the back of your head and thinking that what would your higher self do would you carry on going kind of trying to relate back to someone that you you like when i say someone used to be to the i don't know how you say this or this is the correct terms but if you've got your higher self you've got i want to say less higher self because i don't know what the other term for it would be but are you going to go back to your less higher self and kind of relate to that no you shouldn't you should always want to strive to be your higher self or be where you are never go low <laughs> when i say go low i'm literally doing actions with my hands right now never stoop to someone else's level or never change who you are it's so important to do the things that you genuinely want to do and if those people don't follow through into your new higher self life just know that that's not a bad thing because as long as you're doing you and you're growing you're learning you're doing what you authentically want to do people might leave but the people that love support you and you know they're always going to be there for you now once you've taken the mindset of being your higher self not caring what anyone else thinks and just doing something for you you then can start to progress now a quote that changed my whole i feel like it changed my whole life now that's quite that's me being quite dramatic but in the sense that i saw this quote and i really resonated with it and i thought yes i'm gonna go get my dream and it's not even like the podcast is my dream because i guess in a certain way it is because i've always wanted to do it but my dream is to be authentically me it's to do something that i want to do for me and not worry about what anyone else thinks is to live my dream is to live my life exactly the way I want to do it and that is by starting a podcast starting like an Instagram account that is doing something a bit when I say different obviously loads of people do it but no one else I know does this and I guess it is a bit different so it's taken me three years to from wanting to start a podcast back in 2020 to where I am now obviously I started it at the beginning of this year so it's taken me three years to actually bite the bullet and honestly it's not been biting the bullet i've really loved the process of making a podcast it's been so enjoyable it's definitely one of my most favorite parts of my life i've got so many ideas and i wake up with excitement because i want to carry on doing this and that's what you've really got to find in your own life what excites you to get out of bed in the morning you know, it might not be that day job you've got, might not be university, but like I said, doing the things that make you authentically happy. And you might hate university, but your parents might want you to be there. And if you're hating every single day of it, isn't that just a waste of your time? Wouldn't you rather be learning in in another way, learning, doing something you love? That's you caring about, obviously, your parents' opinion, 
but that's them controlling your life and at the end of the day they can have they can have their advice and how you should do things but it's your choice at the end of the day they can't live your life for them you've got to live your life for you and whatever that is you've just got to do it now i kind of went off topic there but going back to this quote that changed my life is the best time to start that thing was yesterday the next best day is today now i really resonated with this because whatever your in quote quote that thing is so when i say the best time to start that thing you can put in whatever you want so if you want to start an instagram the best time to start instagram was yesterday the next best day is today say if you want to start a podcast best time to start your podcast was yesterday the next best day is today that's what it is saying now it really resonated with me in the sense that if i started my podcast when i authentically wanted to start it three years ago where could i be today you know if you started that instagram yesterday you could have 10 more followers than you have today you could have one more follower than you have today that's still more than you've got right now and i was just thinking oh my gosh i need to start this the next best day to start it is today not next week not in a month's time start planning today start press that go button it might take you a while and when i was planning my podcast i planned i started planning it about september time so now we're in march and it's doing great i'm really enjoying the process you know i never expected it to be listened to as much as it is in england let alone the other side of the world it's not to say that you can't do the same if you start that thing that you want to do start a new job drop out of university if you want to do something and you haven't done the next best day to do it is today okay now starting that podcast if i started that podcast three years ago it definitely wouldn't have been the podcast that's coming out to you today i have gone through such a lot in such a short amount of time that i have completely changed my mindset my my work ethic has changed i've prioritized mental health and well-being so much more than i previously did and i've got so much emotional intelligence and self-awareness now than I used to have and it's all because of the triggers that have happened in my life which I've responded to. Now that's a different kind of podcast episode in itself but what I wanted to say is that just because you haven't done something don't beat yourself up about it because your time will come and when you're ready you will do it and I have every faith in you that you will because it can be hard and like I said the podcast I would have put out three years ago would definitely not be the podcast it is today and I'm so proud and happy to be posting this podcast and what this podcast kind of community and what it's about I'm so happy that it's about what it is and because I've done that at my higher self I've learned so much I've posted it and i've got people coming back to me such lovely guys and girls that listen they are like me you attract like-minded people when you are authentically yourself your old friends shouldn't hold you back now i'm not saying that they will hold you back at all but if they do because you've got history holding you together history can't hold a friendship together anyway or a relationship because i know that when i was going out with my ex-boyfriend i thought you know but it's nice because we've got all these memories together and but then the realization came into fact that history can't keep you two together if you're going in different paths or you want to do something a bit different it's so important to cut people off that aren't gonna help your higher self when i say cut them off it could be distance it could be take some time apart or have an open conversation about you know hey are we distancing have we got much in common these days i don't know whatever but his just history itself can't keep that friendship alive you've got to be kind of going the same places or like the same things or whatever and it's okay if your old friendship weaken you know we we move we change we grow up is okay and it's so natural so don't feel like if you have got a friendship that's maybe you're growing apart that's not bad it's just different and everyone has everyone has times that they change in life so going back to starting that thing that you've always wanted to start it's so important to do it for you now it's so easy to care about what other people's opinion it's you know ingrained in us by society you know we're told oh sorry we say sorry i'm not looking my best if someone just comes to the door you're like oh sorry i'm i'm not looking like my best or presentable and that's us you know subconsciously saying that we're not good enough in that time and that's 
us excusing ourselves being authentically you and that's a different thing in itself as well but you know the most important opinion that matters is yourself of you and if you think that you're letting yourself down or not letting yourself down but if you think that you're not being your true self or you're not being the highest version of yourself you have to work on that yourself and you've got to understand that to to grow something has to change whatever that is and you can't make everyone happy you've got to make sure that you're the one putting yourself first if you can't make everyone happy then why are we caring so much about what everyone thinks of us if there's always going to be people who don't like us or like us why do we care so getting rid of this voice in your head that tells you to be perfect and you want to be likable and you want to do things the certain way because people like that getting rid of that and embracing yourself and embracing the past and learning and trying new things making mistakes honoring that inner child in you doing something that you love doing is so important and whether that's starting that new thing or letting something go whether you just dance loud and proud in the club because you want to and yeah it might be a bit ugly dancing but if you're having fun who cares taking back your power making that life yours is the best advice anyone or anything has ever told me so plan that podcast set up that instagram it might be that you just play with a few ideas on your notepad or your ipad or whatever start that thing today and it will bring you so much joy and the amount of lovely messages i get is amazing and they make my day so much but this podcast is is more than that it's the community but it's how i feel when i'm doing what i genuinely want to do that's the empowering thing and you can do it too so leave this podcast i hope you've enjoyed i'm going to round it up now and i hopefully i'm going to leave you feeling inspired to get up and you know do it start planning because you can and nobody starts from being massive and having millions of followers or whatever your prerogative is whatever you want to do starting everyone starts at the bottom and it's about making those small steps to get where you want to do and even if it's one small step right now do that small step because those small steps add up and you will get to where you want to be and even if that's not an end goal you will feel incredible in yourself and on that note i am going to leave you to do whatever you need to do and i'll speak to you next week lots of love bye guys